two angles theta and alpha are coterminal if they have the same terminal side. If we add 20 degrees to 360 degrees, we get 380 degrees. And those two angles have the same terminal side. The only difference is the amount of rotation or, in some cases, the direction of the rotation. If two angles, theta and alpha, are coterminal, then the trig ratios are the same. Sine theta is equal to sine alpha and so on and so forth. Now, negative 60 will be going clockwise and the angle coterminal to negative 60 will be negative 60 plus 360 which is 300 degrees. Now, negative 60 and 300 are coterminal, so we're going to use reference angles to evaluate secant of negative 60 degrees, which is equal to secant of 300 degrees. The reference angle will be 360 minus 300, so secant negative 60 is equal to secant of 60 and since secant is 1 over cosine and cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant so the answer will be the hypotenuse 2 over the adjacent side 1. Evaluate using reference angles. First we'll find the coterminal angle of negative 135. It's negative 135 plus 360. And that coterminal angle is 225 degrees. Now we need to find a reference angle for 225 degrees. 225 degrees is a third quadrant angle. So the reference angle theta prime is equal to 225 minus 180 and the answer is 45 degrees. Keep in mind that sine is negative in the third quadrant. Now, sine negative 135 is equal to negative sine 45 degrees since the sine of the reference angle is always positive. So we need to take its opposite. So it's going to be negative 1 over square root of 2. When rationalized, it's negative square root of 2 over 2. We're gonna look for the coterminal angle of 495. 495 minus 260 because it has more than one revolution make it easier otherwise we would have had to divide and we get a hundred and thirty five degrees we're gonna look for the reference angle for a hundred and thirty five degrees hundred and thirty five is a second quadrant angle therefore its reference angle is equal to 180 minus 135 theta prime is equal to 45 degrees.
now tangent is 495 is equal to negative because tangent is negative in the second quadrant negative tangent 45 tangent 495 degrees is equal to negative and the tangent of 45 is 1 the answer is negative 1 we're going to use reference angles to evaluate cosecant of 1140 now if we multiply 360 by 3 we get 1020 degrees now when we subtract 1020 from 1140 we are left with 120 degrees so 120 degrees is coterminal to 1140 now we're gonna look for the reference angle and to find the reference angle we're gonna use the coterminal angle 120 so the reference angle theta prime will be 180 minus 120 theta prime is 60 degrees now cosecant which is 1 over sine will be cosecant 1140 and since sine is positive will be the same as cosecant 60 degrees and cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite so it's 2 over square root of 3 which is 2 square root of 3 over 3 when we rationalize cosine negative 7 65 negative 7 65 plus 720 2 times 360 is 720 so we can find the coterminal angle by adding it to 720 we get negative 45 degrees now if when we sketch negative 45 negative 45 degrees we real we realize that negative 45 and 45 degrees have the same cosine so the reference angle theta prime is just 45 degrees and cosine of negative 45 and cosine of 45 are equal so cosine of negative 765 is equal to cosine of 45 degrees which is square root of 2 over 2 cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant 